All right, fight fans, UFC Vegas 21 is in the book, and it is officially known as the Night of the No Contest. I'm your host, Chris Nancuso, joined by Jack Godso, my man, Jack. You know what? I feel bad. The prelims to this card coming into it, I thought were electric. I thought they were great. I've been loving the prelims lately. UFC's promotion uh, for prelim fights, best in the world, obviously, when it comes to mixed martial arts. And then you get into the main card tonight, where we saw not one, but two no contests. So let's just go through the event here quickly. Yeah, the the... know that couldn't catch it, what happened, and try to make sense of it for the people that did catch it. There were some um, pretty interesting things. And with both no contests, the fighter kind of controlling the fight and winning the fight was the one who, who, who put the foul out there. You know, the first one we got Anders versus Stewart, it's a no contest and uh, he needs a grounded opponent. Now it's nowhere close to what Jan did last week at 259. But you could say that, was, but no, it wasn't. I, it, it wasn't. No, I mean, it was, it was, it was just as dumb in my opinion. He was so grounded. He'd, we'd already seen him almost do it once and he held in, Cause he realized, but then the second time he didn't, it was just sloppy. It was lazy. I mean, we ended up with a no contest sandwich. The first fight of the card was no contest. The last one was no contest. And both Everything were very, it was pretty good though. Well, see Anders was warned. I mean, no, sorry. Edwards was warned Edwards and was Anders warned. almost did it earlier in the Remember, fight. I was like, check that knee, buddy. You don't want to be yawn. We were just on a, a UFC live stream. I said, you don't want to be yawn in that fight. And then it was like, it felt like like 60 seconds later. Yes. He need him while he was down. And we were like, fuck man, not again. Are you guys kidding me? But certainly UFC Vegas 21 will be filled with storylines. Um, the second fight though, you saw um, Cape take on uh, Nicole, who I'm terrible with the names. Um, you know, it went to a split decision in that one. Um, it was funny. Um, Nicole got the win. Cape was like, uh, he was acting like he was shocked, Jack, like that, that it was a split decision that didn't go his way. Like, listen, you had him winning the fight. I had Nicole yes. with it. I had him winning it. It was a toss up. It was a ball hair. Like, that's what that fight was split by. It was all kind of probably more about octagon control than anything when it came down to the judges' scorecards because the fight just wasn't that great, to be completely honest with you. I close. had I had Nicolau winning the first round. I had Cape winning the that's second it, Nicolau. round. Sorry, I and, say his name fuck up. Yeah, and then the third round, I gave it to Cape because of what he did at the very end of the round, but I totally can see how you'd give that to Nicolau based on the beginning of the third round. It oh, was he very acted like he was round. shocked. It was like yeah, he, he acted like he was shocked. Like, the, you don't leave it into the judge's hands because you never know what's going to happen. But even with that being left in the judge's hand, you didn't really beat him by that much. If you beat him, it was a very close fight. I, I don't know why he was shocked. I think when he watches that back, he's going to be very disappointed in himself. I would think so. I would think so. And then we had Grant taken on Martinez. Uh, Grant absolutely knocked him out. Uh, he actually had lost the first round, the the Brit, and then he came back with a power um, with a power punch, knocked him out. And luckily, he did because if he didn't knock him out there, his foot was fucked up. Jack, break down that fight a bit for us. So. At the very end of the first round, Grant got actually knocked down by Martinez. And it looked like he was holding on for dear life at the very end. And it looked like Martinez might come out at the beginning of round two and finish him. But Grant fought with a huge sense of urgency because I I know Martinez was picking apart his legs. I think Grant knew that that fight wasn't going to go well for him if it got into a third round. And I think he knew if he wanted to be victorious, he had to finish him in the second round. And that's exactly what he came out doing. He threw some bombs. He caught Martinez right before the knockout and just pressed forward and finished the fight right there. He did didn't risk it. He he knew he had to go full bore, and that's what he did. And he and he finished the fight. Yep, you love to see it. And then we had Danny I uh, taking on Gavin Tucker. Absolute vicious ending in that one. We 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 heard a Korean zombie call out. Jack, take us through that one. Uh, I, unfortunately, during that fight, 
we had some weather here. We almost lost our live stream. My cable went out. So I have to be truthful with you guys. That was the fight I missed. I'm going to have to go back and check it. So Jack, this is what this one's up to you, man. Well, lucky for you, the fight is about 20 seconds long. And really it's as soon as they met, it was over. Oh, that was right. Uh, I came right back and it was like, oh, remember I thought he beat him in like three seconds, but it was just my cable box turned back on. I just, I just hit him and it was over. I mean, he's got that. He has, I think that's his fourth knockout inside the first round in his mixed martial arts career. He has that power. He's a guy that can beat you anyway, whether it be knockout or decision. I mean, he just had that power. And I think the him versus the Korean zombie is an unbelievable fight. Two guys yeah. that like to come forward, two guys that like to bang. You oh, know, it's not going to be a boring. <laughs> yeah. Or two guys that'll go bloody and battered all the way to a decision. Like, I mean, it's going to yeah. be a war if those two fight and they're Absolutely. both tough as nails. I wouldn't be surprised if neither of them can knock the other one out. I agree with you, man. You know, the UFC Vegas 21 was off to a solid start. And then we get to the main event. We get to the main event of the evening and the UFC's number three ranked welterweight in the world, Leon Edwards, accidentally poked the number 13 ranked Bilal Muhammad in the eye in the second round. Edwards was doing quite well, I agree. Uh, you know, he was he was winning the fight much. Well, I wouldn't skip uh, over the co-main. Oh, did I go past that? <laughs> yeah, we skipped over the Kobe there. Ryan oh. Spahn versus, um, oh, how do you say his name? The, your Canadian there. Chemayev or whatever, yeah. Chema- yeah. Yeah, that fight, I mean, that was all Spawn. You knew that, I mean, the your Canadian there, I can never pronounce his name, but he was going to look to take that fight to the ground. He was going to look to get a submission, and Ryan Spawn was going to look to finish the fight, and that's what he came out and he did. And I think you just saw a more experienced, better fighter in Spawn, and in, in the better man won that fight, in my opinion. I think I say Serkinov, that's how I say his last name, but Spawn, Serkinov, or Cherkinov, I don't know exactly how he pronounces it, but yeah. Spawn absolutely beat that ass at 111 of the first round, Jack. I apologize. Our agenda actually didn't have oh, that I fight in it. it. Yeah, it was missed <laughs> in the agenda. So I went through to the next one because, like I said, this event, unfortunately, and it's starting to show, I was having some technical issues through it. But <laughs> we had the Canada versus US fight. By the time it had come back, my stuff, I had found out me and Jack had bet a drink. Uh, chug on it and uh i had to i had to eat the loss on that one so ryan span moves to 19 and six and i don't think he ever should have been the underdog game. I, no. I think he should have gone into that one as the favorite and i, yeah, I thought he was, he was six gonna win years younger he was like five or six years younger than him um it was it was you know uh misha sirkinov is is a good fighter but he he's got some miles on him i know he won the contender series but he's older now you know uh and and yeah i agree with you i think we maybe should have given a little respect well i think that was spawn that fighter. won the contender series who Ryan. spawn won the contender series yes. where did sirkinov come in from or did he just where did he come from i don't know too much about that fighter to be honest no, me either. Fuck him, Canada bastard. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on to the final fucking fight here, which was Muhammad and Edwards, uh, which now we have that agenda here. And, you know, I'm going to say it, man. I think Edwards had been warned about poking him in the eye. And then the second round comes forward, which I get you're trying to you're trying to close the distance and whatever. I mean, the graphic image of the finger going into his eye is next level bad it's horrible that fight you know like you said off the hop it was a no contest sandwich first fight of the night no contest last fight of the night no contest it was the night of the no contest man i think we're going to be in a better position for next weekend's uh event and it's unfortunate it's it's out of the ufc's hand when stuff like this happens but certainly from a fight fan perspective tonight was pretty average and Bilal Muhammad, I mean, he got caught with a bad head kick to start that round. He was bleeding from the side of his head. It was going to be all Edwards. Yes. Just a, a huge lack of discipline and maybe a little bit of ring rust. I mean, he's been out of the cage for so long. I don't think he meant to poke him in the eye. I, I do think I do. it was sloppy. I though. do. It was no. like the third time of the fight that he had done it. He was keeping 
those fingers, you know, Rashad Evans is trying to manufacture those gloves to stop that shit. There's no reason to be coming at somebody like this with the fucking Spider-Man hands. I thought it was worse than the first one. The first no contest I was happy with, I think this fight could have been a DQ. It, he had been warned and he it did it It could have because he was warned, but I don't think he did it intentionally. It, Come on. Dude, I mean, listen, he was warned and just like when you get the still image of that finger in his eye, yes, have you awful. ever seen anything like that? No, that was so gross. I don't even want to put it on the screen because it was so gross. Um, legitimately one of the worst things ever, but hit it on the screen here, McLevin, before we go. Finger poke in the eye. You don't want that. Bink. Make sure, guys, you don't have a finger in your eye and you hit the subscribe button. Hit the like. Comment. Let us know who you think is going to win next weekend's event. Uh, Jack, give us the main event in that one. It's a big one. We got Bronson versus Holland for uh, the main event next week. So that should be a good one. Both those guys are going to, I mean, huge knockout power. We've seen Holland knock out uh, Jacare Souza from the ground. From, from the back. ground on his back, bro. Yeah, he play, made him Jacare Souza. was uh, Jacare Snooza after that from the back. I like Holland in that fight, guys. We'll be back on Saturday night and firing in on Sunday with a little post recap. Tarps off sports, MMA. Jack, good seeing you, buddy. Always a pleasure.